Israeli missiles have hit a location in Iran, according to US media. Iran's Fars news agency says explosions were heard at the airport in the Iranian city of Isfahan. The cause was not immediately known. But Iranian officials have told news agency Reuters that there was no missile attack on Iran. Let's bring in our North America correspondent, Barbara Miller, now live from Washington, D.C. Barb, take us through what we do know. We don't know very much at the moment, Casey. As you say, U.S. officials are speaking to media outlets here on condition of anonymity. They say Israel has attacked Iran, the understanding being that is in retaliation for Iran's uh, barrage of missiles and drones that they sent towards Israel at the weekend. That in turn, in retaliation for an attack, Iran blames on Israel in Syria on the Iranian embassy. Now, as you say, um, Iran is now quoted as saying that there was no missile attack. What seems to be the suggestion there is that Iran says that drones were perhaps sent uh, over Isfahan in the, the central province there uh, and that perhaps the explosion, according to Iranian officials, was them shooting down these drones. So there definitely seems to be, from what we know so far, and as I say, that's very little, it appears to have been some attempt to attack Iran by Israel. What's in dispute, I guess, is the severity of that attack and perhaps whether Iranian officials are trying to downplay the attack that these weren't missiles that came over, but just drones. But we're still waiting for uh, an official account from Israel, as indeed from any uh, official account here in the U.S., no official word from the White House yet. But we know that the U.S. was urging Israel to show restraint. It didn't want a situation where there was a tit for tat between Iran and Israel. There are grave fears here that the situation could escalate, that this uh, regional conflict could become an all out regional war. So some kind of limited attack would certainly be what the U.S. was hoping that Israel would do if it did feel the need to retaliate for Iran's strike at the weekend. As I say, differing accounts coming out now from perhaps what the U.S. officials have suggested with what Iranian officials uh, are now saying. It's daybreak essentially in the Middle East. Uh, so we still wait to see uh, whether we get imagery uh, of this uh, incident, whatever it is, in Isfahan in the central province there in Iran. Yeah, Bob, as we say, as you say, we haven't even heard from the Israeli government yet, but we have been waiting to see if Israel would respond to Iran's attack on Sunday. It, it doesn't seem, at least on what we know at the moment, uh, that Israel has heeded those calls for restraint from the US. I think it was clear in the past couple of days that they weren't going to heed those calls. But if this is a limited strike, then perhaps you could say that they have heeded them in some way. I think it became clear from what Israeli officials were saying that they wanted to respond in some way. Uh, and the negotiations, and we saw David Cameron, the UK Foreign Secretary there, for example, have been you know, the, the level, the severity of that response. Of course, once you respond, you have to reckon with the fact that Iran might respond again after its unprecedented attack uh, on Israel at the weekend. So as I say, it's very early days. Uh, the Iranians are saying that the nuclear facilities there in Isfahan have not been damaged. U.S. officials briefing uh, behind the scenes here that the, US, the nuclear facilities were not being targeted. We just don't know yet whether Israel has uh, launched some kind of limited action in the hope that perhaps it can be seen to have retaliated without provoking the situation further. Uh, we just don't know. But a, a sense of very heightened tensions here, but certainly not unexpected. We've been waiting to see how Israel will respond, and we've certainly been getting the sense that Israel, Israel will respond, and now it looks like they have. All right, Barbara Miller reporting from Washington. Thank you. There's a lot we still need to learn here. We'll let you go for now.